What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of the most powerful heavy guns in all of Fault 76. We have the Gatling gun. Starting off with the weapon, this is it. This is my three-star legendary Gatling gun that we're using for the video, and the main legendary effect is the two-shot effect, which is shoots an additional projectile, has the bolts explode for area damage, and it also is your VATS critical meter feels 15% faster. This weapon is absolutely insane for heavy gunner builds. And the mods that we're using with it is the prime receiver, a long barrel, comfort grip, extra large magazine, front sight ring, and the default appearance. Over in the build, these are the base stats and make up our in-game heavy gunner build that we're using for the video so if you want to use the exact build i'm using this is the start these are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped over in the normal perk cards these are the normal perk cards that make up our in-game heavy gunner build starting off in strength we have 15 and this so we can have all the heavy gunner cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage out of this build we have locked and loaded maxed out heavy guns reload 30 percent faster we have blocker maxed out and take 45 percent of less damage from your opponent's melee attacks over in perception we have one and this so we can have concentrate fire at one star vets now targets limbs focus fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot over in endurance we have nine and this so we can have life giver maxed out out, gain a total of plus 45 to your maximum health. We have Kinfeen at 2 stars. Any Kims you take lasts 60% longer, and we are taking Psycho Buffs in this video. We have Fireproof maxed out. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. Over in Charisma, we have 9, and this so we can have Lone Wonder maxed out. When adventuring alone, take 20% less damage and gain 30% AP regen. We have Field Surger maxed out. Stim Packs and Red Away will now work much more quickly. We have Tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 11, and this so we can have Stabilize maxed out. In Power Armor, Heavy Guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore. 45% armor. We have Demolition Expert maxed out. Your explosives do a plus 60% of damage. We have batteries included maxed out. Energy weapon ammo weighs 90% less. Over in Agility, we have 8, and this so we can have Action Boy maxed out. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have Adrenaline maxed out. Gain a plus 10%, max 60% of damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. Over in Luck, we have 15, and this so we can have Bloody Mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red pace. We have one gun army maxed out. Heavy guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple limb. We have Ricochet maxed out. Gain 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemy's range damage, no PvP. We have Class Freak maxed out. The negative effects from mutations are reduced by 75%. We have Starch Genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from rads, and Radway will never cure your mutations. And we have Critical Savvy at 1 star. Critical hits now only consume 85% of your critical meter. These are all the normal perk cards that make up our in-game heavy gunner build, and now let's get into our legendary perk cards. Over in the legendary perk cards, these are the legendary perk cards that help make up our in-game heavy gunner build. Starting off in Intelligence, we have that card maxed out. We have Endurance maxed out. Strength at 3 stars. Luck at 3 stars. Electric Absorption at 1 star star and far flung fireworks at two stars these are all the legendary perk cards now let's get into my armor and my mutations over in the armor what we're using is a full set of overeaters t65 power armor and the reason we go with overeaters is because it says increases damage reduction up to six percent as you fill your hunger and thirst meters and if you eat a perfect bubble gum your hunger and thirst meters will be filled for a full hour over the mutations these are all the mutations that we're using for the build we have adrenaline reaction bird bones eagle eyes egghead healing factor marsupial skelly skin and speed demon this is it though this is my complete in-game gatling gun loadout now let's get into some demonstrations the beginner demonstration with our all-powerful Gatling gun build, we've made our way over to the West Tech Research Center, and that is because there is a ton of disgusting super mutants over here that need to be vanquished. But before we do that, one thing about the Gatling gun that you need to know is if you tap the aim button like this while you're shooting, this gun will shoot way faster. Watch this. This is without tapping the button. Pretty slow in my opinion. Now if you do tap the aim button, look at this. Look how insane that is. This is a completely broken gun and can probably stand up to legacies. But now back onto the super mutants, the reason I'm here, we're gonna start by destroying this guy. There we go, just a couple aim shots at him. Absolutely amazing. Now we're gonna go berserker mode on him. There we go, a berserker mode on these guys. Oh my god, you see that? Berserker mode is insane. Now we're just gonna do quick little aim. There we go, absolutely. Oh, berserker mode! Can't let that dude commit suicide. Nope, look at this damage though. It's absolutely insane. Now let me just see if I can get some VAT shots real quick. Excuse you, sir. I would like to destroy you in VATS, please and thank you. All right, maybe we should aim at the stomach. There we go, there we go. Fantastic. Oh god, he could not withstand the power of the Gatling gun. Sir, would you like to see the berserker in power armor? Who, who wants to see it first? Is it you? Of course, it's this guy. Oh, he's legendary. Not no more. What did he have? A life savings marine armor chest piece. No, thank you. And now, sir, would you like to see the berserker mode? The next wasteland monstrosity on our list for the demonstrations is the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Brenda. We're going to get really close to Brenda real quick. We're going to lock onto her face, do a couple of bats hits if we can actually hit her. All right, there was no vats hits there, so we'll just continue to shoot her like this. Fantastic. As you can see, we already took down half the behemoth's health. Now, let's go full berserker mode on her. I don't know why I reloaded. We had like 400 more ammo. All right, full berserker mode. Sorry about this, Brenda. And Brenda is no more. 
Now we've made our way to my arch nemesis of Vault 51, the level 75 Scorched Overseer that goes by the name Nancy. And since she has an energy weapon, she can do absolutely nothing to me. Look at that. All she does is heal me. So what I'm going to do is actually take out these guys first while she continues to heal me. There we go. Fantastic. What about you, sir? Cannot withstand the power of the Gatling gun. All right, Nancy, do not back yourself into the corner. That's not a smart idea. And we're just going to obliterate her. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Look at those face shots. Sorry, not sorry, Nancy. I need you to be dead. There we go. Absolutely amazing. And what the heck is going on over here? Are you still alive? I told you to get out of the goddamn corner, you stupid scorched. The next way saying sicko on our list for the demonstrations is the level 100 Myler Queen that goes by the name Mrs. Krabs and her whole entire army. We got a couple kings in here. We got a couple regular Mylerks. Let's just destroy her real quick. There we go. Absolutely amazing. And we'll vanquish the rest of those Mylerks. Look at that damage. Holy crap. And the Myler Queen herself is no more. Now you stupid kings, get off of me, you stupid, disgusting, ugly fools. <sighs> if you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of the most powerful energy weapons in all of Fall 76, the Plasma Caster. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it in the screen right now. You see that? That is my Plasma Caster video.